Hello everybody, in this video we're going to look at types in Python. Alright, let's get going. So first I want to point out how the English language works. If I have a sentence like this, the baby eats, you know that there's nouns and verbs and adjective, and each of these are parts of speech. Each of these words is categorized according to a part of speech, and each of these categories has rules that you have to follow. Well, a computer language is pretty much the same. In Python, we don't have parts of speech, but we do have what's called types. The first type is int, which is basically integers or whole numbers. So examples would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, or the negative integers. The next type is a float, which is basically anything with a decimal point. So 1.1, 0.0, or negative numbers like negative 99.999. And the last one we're going to go over for now is the string. So these are like characters. Really anything in quotation marks is a string. So ABC in quotation marks, that's a string. Orange in single quotations, that's a string. The tricky one is if the number one is in quotations, then that is also a string. So any number that's in a quotation is a string. I'll go over more types later, but that's it for now. So here I'm showing you how you can use the type command to see what type your data is. Type one is an integer. See here it says class int integer. Type one with the quotations around the one is gonna be a string. Again, the quotations around anything turns it into a string. If I print, if I print type of minus 2.9999, because that has a decimal in it, that's going to be a float. So when I run it, it says class float. So usually people don't run this command that often, but I'm just showing you now so you can see that each data has a particular type. And if you wanted to, you could see what that type is. Now remember when I said each type follows certain types of rules, just like parts of speech, nouns and verbs and adjectives follow certain types of rules. Well, here it is in action. So when I do a print one plus one, this is an integer plus an integer, and that will end up being an integer. Here's one that's a little different, one plus 1 1.0, so that's an integer plus a float. And if you look at the answer, the answer ends up being a float also. So when you add an integer and a float, the answer is converted to a float. <laughs> Lastly, I'm gonna do one plus one, except one plus one is in quotation marks. Now you might think, that math is gonna happen here. But math does not happen. It prints out directly one plus one. So one of the rules is if I wanna do math, I can't do math on strings. Uh, so what's going on here? Because one plus one is in quotation marks, it's a string. And one of the rules that I need to follow in Python is I'm not doing math on strings. If I wanted to do math on this, I would have to take out the quotation marks. All right, so now let's try out the labs. You really should pause the video and try this yourself, but if you're stuck, Go ahead and watch what I'm about to do. I'm gonna do the types lab. All right, so it's looking for me to print out the type of an integer, print out the type of a float, print out the type of a string. So if you look over here on the left side, it's gonna give you some examples of the code that you're gonna run. I can pretty much just copy and paste this in, which I'm gonna do now. So I'll print out the type of 5.5, .5, and that's a float, as I expect, because why? because it's got a decimal, so decimals are floats. I'll change it because it wants me to do an int and a string as well, so I'll print out the type of five. Five is a whole number, an integer, so it says class int. Lastly, I wanted to print out a string, and how can I do that? Well, I can turn five into a string by putting quotation marks around it. So, when I run that, uh, I get what I expect. I have a class float, a class int, and a class string. The next lab is the debugging lab. So in this one, what I'm looking to do is math. But when I try it, it just prints out 20 times three. No math is going on, why? Well, it's because when I put the quotations around it, it's a string, and math does not happen with strings. So to make math happen, I need to take out the quotation marks. And again, this is just one of the rules of types. Math is not happening with strings. Math only happens with floats and integers. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.